What's going on everybody? It's Tyler Ona. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I am going to show you the price of my apartment here in Da Nang and everything that you get, everything that's included and just kind of the pros and cons of the place and show you guys around a little bit so you can get an idea if this is somewhere where you might want a vacation or you might want to just get away for three months and uh, get your life straight like I am. Um, so stay tuned. All right, as we come in here, I have a little sitting area, which I have clothes all over. Don't mind, iPad on the floor, but here is the overall area. And then right when you come into the left, you have the bathroom, standard shower, pretty nice area, nice bathtub. That's pretty rare for Vietnam. You don't really get a bathtub um, in most bathrooms. It's just usually a shower without even a curtain area or an enclosed area. It's just usually water just gets all over the floor, which is fine. They have drains everywhere. Um, but sink. Your boy. Coming over, yeah, you got a little work area. A lot of space for clothes and whatnot, or whatever you want to put in these. Um, so there's one of those and then a whole nother one. Then you have upward space as well. Queen bed, that might be a king, I'm not sure. Standard kitchen, pretty big freezer and fridge. Table, you got chairs. One chair, the other chair is right there. Sink, induction stoves, got two burners and then microwave and they did include some pots and all the silverware is included and whatnot. So we're at chopsticks, rice scooper, um, spatula, and then they have some bowls as well. Cool little, cool little cabinets covered. Um, got a water heater as well for the tea and coffee lovers. Pretty tall ceilings, so that's nice. Standard air con here in Southeast Asia. Usually every room has one. This room has two fans also, which is very clutch because they don't have a dryer for your clothes. So as you see, drying my towel on the TV, but um, standard TV as well. It's a smart TV, you can connect to your laptop and stuff. Um, little nightstand. Yeah. This room comes with a washer at this location, which is nice. They don't use soap, get your own soap because I used the soap upstairs and it was the owner's mom's and she got really mad at me. Um, trying to pair my drawers right there. And uh, yeah, it's the balcony. This is an extremely loud part of Da Nang in general, just because there's a convenience store right under me and this store right here is open 24 seven. So, that kind of sucks, but it's all good. So this is what you get here in Da Nang. In terms of how I book this accommodation, I use Airbnb. I haven't used any other platform. Comment down below if you think that there's a better platform than Airbnb, but Every single time that I've used them, they've been fantastic service. And I usually go for the super host on Airbnb. You'll see guest favorites and super host. And then there's just random postings without either of those. And I like to go for the super host because I like someone who's going to be extremely responsive when I contact them. There might be an emergency. You might get locked out of your room. You might need to know where something's at. For instance, the first night I got here, my, uh, the owner, I, I met up with him. He was straight outside, very prompt. And he let me know like where the local fruit markets were at over here. So that was really important for me, um, just being so new to the area. And especially when you're out of the country, guys, I think it's very important to get a super host. Now you saw everything that this apartment has when I gave you the quick little tour. It's a studio, but it's a pretty big studio. I would say this is, uh, 
I would say this is 500 square feet, maybe a little bit smaller, um, but it's, it's pretty big. And it's got a full bathroom, which is amazing. The kitchen is amazing. Um, and again, you know, you wanna look for these things when you're, it depends on your budget and it depends on how bougie you are. But with me, it's like, I at least need the bare necessities. That way, if I need to like boil water or something, um, I like to have a shower, I like to have a bed. If I can have those things and it's in a remotely quiet area, then that's a plus plus for me. The only negative is you might, I mean, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna know if the area is like super quiet or not, unless you read extensive reviews on the property itself, because a lot of these people don't list the exact pinpoint address of their property on Airbnb. All right, you guys saw everything that this apartment came with, and I'll just go through it one more time. So it comes with the dryer, comes with standard kitchen. I have water, electricity, Wi-Fi. There's trash service. What else? There's no heat. You don't really need heat here in Vietnam, although in Da Nang, it is a little bit cooler up here, I will say. It's in like the 70s. Um, I know some of you probably laugh at that, but there's people like the locals here wear jackets and hoodies and beanies when it's this temperature out because it is cold compared to, you know, a summer here where it's like 95, 100 every single day. Um, so yeah, again, no heat, but there is AC right behind me, that air con. And then you have, yeah, I said pre all the amenities, all the basic amenities are included. So that's really nice. All right, in terms of location, so Da Nang, the actual city, I guess you could say that where the taller buildings are and where the beach access is, I'm about, I'm about a 15 minute walk from the beach. All right, now we'll get into costs, which everybody wants to know about. It's probably the reason why you click this to see if you, you know, if your lifestyle fits with the budget that you may need to have when you're out here based on this specific video. So where I'm at, again, be mindful. It's about a mile away from the beach. So what I pay for this spot is $500 a month, just, what I pay for this spot here in Da Nang is $500 a month. Some of you may think that's on the higher side. Some of you may think that's on the lower side. Me specifically coming from Orlando, Florida, paying $1,400 in rent. It's just, everything is on the lower side here. Everything, nothing is like, oh, that's like what I've been paying in the States or that's more, it's all lower. So with me, I'm totally fine with $500 a month, all inclusive. I'm not paying anything extra. The only thing about this spot is some of the Airbnbs, it's 50-50 it's in my experience when researching where I wanna stay. Some of them will have included cleaning services, like they'll come to your spot once a week and just clean it. And that's included in the fees. And then some of them, like this one, if you wanna have it cleaned, it costs like uh, 400,000 dong, which is around $16. Um, but then if you like leave it a mess and they have to clean it, clean it after you're gone, which I mean, that's just, that's a cop out of my opinion for them. But then they're gonna charge you at the end of your stay too. So I'll probably have to pay that. We'll see if they ensue that or not. But that's something to look at as well. You know, if you're a super dirty Percy, <laughs> Percy, if you're a super dirty person or just in general, you like to have your place cleaned frequently um, by another person, not yourself, then it's definitely something to think about.